Good morning, Mayor Bailey. How are you doing, sir? Morning, Paul. Thanks so much for having me on. Uh, you, you bet. Uh, your initial reaction to the, the state. Now, this is not the local CIF. This is the, it was a state playoff game. So the folks up in Sacramento, they're the ones that are making these decisions as far as the punishments towards the high school. Your reaction to the statement and sanctions that came out yesterday. It's an utter disappointment. And uh, frankly, it's outrageous. And it's outrageous for a number of reasons. Uh, for starters, you know, we expect in today's social media uh, culture that, you know, things will go viral, things will um, get out of hand. We expect even, you know, some in the media to write headlines that aren't necessarily a fair characterization of what actually took place. But in our society, we expect that people in positions of, of authority, government officials, will be the ones that, you know, have um, have the ability to say, hey, let's just take a breath. Let's make decisions that are actually based on all the evidence. And in this situation, when you look at all the evidence, you can conclude that there were, were no racially motivated acts, that this was a case of unsportsmanlike behavior. The team had already apologized for the unsportsmanlike behavior and, and acknowledged the racial insensitivities that were around it. However, CIF failed to even interview a single player from the Coronado High School boys basketball team before making their decision. So this is outrageous because they didn't even complete a comprehensive investigation. And second, perhaps even more importantly, the person that actually brought the tortillas, you know, essentially gets off scot-free. This was a 40 year old man who's unaffiliated with the players, the team, the school, who really didn't even attend many of the basketball games, who decided uh, to bring these tortillas and kind of create this situation uh, that we saw unfold. And unfortunately, now you have a bunch of student athletes who will be suffering the consequences. Uh, the, you know, again, I don't know how much of this is uh, confirmed or not, but apparently the person in question, you're speaking of Luke Cerna, who is an alumnus of the high school, uh, he apparently had a conversation with the now fired basketball coach at Coronado about, hey, if we win, we're going to celebrate like we did back in college with the uh, tortilla throwing. And then things just spiraled out of control. The game was contentious. The two coaching staffs both behaved poorly after the game, and we have this situation. But as you, I don't know if you heard our previous guest, Aaron Bergen, uh, say that, hey, it's, yeah, it's imperative that you read the temperature of the room. And when you see that it was a, a, a predominantly Hispanic crowd on the visitor's side, maybe that tortilla idea was, was just really bad. I think I think Aaron is spot on, and I think that's really kind of what the question um, comes down to: is who is ultimately responsible for this, for the the poor judgment to to bring the tortillas? And I think there is a lot of blame to go around for this entire incident. Uh, but does the, do the sanctions actually uh, fit uh, what transpired at that game? Are they are they a rightful punishment? And because the person that brought the tortillas isn't receiving any punishment whatsoever. Um, in my opinion, this, these sanctions are totally unsupported uh, by the underlying evidence. And uh, I hope that the Coronado Unified School District Board uh, appeals the decision and uh, hopefully we can get the title reinstated. The, uh, the, but the video shows, definitely shows kids from the, uh, at least two kids from the Coronado side throwing food, I don't, you know, tortillas at the opposing team. And yet they're all being punished, the entire right. it, it, all, could this be a more surgical punishment and a single out at the kids who uh, were throwing the food? Or as Aaron pointed out, if you wear a team uniform, you what happens to you happens as a team. Could you speak to that a little bit? Yeah, I think once again, you know, an investigation had never, uh, a comprehensive investigation had really never taken place. And of course we have the video evidence, which clearly demonstrates that uh, two players, these were, you know, JV players, so they weren't even on the varsity team, uh, but two JV players, after the game had concluded, after an altercation had broken out between the two sides, picked up tortillas and tossed them indiscriminately in the air and their tortillas fell um, on the Orange Glen uh, uh, team and, and some of their fans who were on the Coronado side of the court. Now the characterization that players were actually quote pelting uh, the Orange Glen players with tortillas like simply, actually, simply isn't borne out by, by the video evidence. And so this is again, once you know, once again, this is a case of well, what does the evidence really show? What would a comprehensive investigation look like? And when you have a situation where the people that are tasked with doing the investigation fail to interview a single player to actually understand what really transpired there well, and what were the motivations, uh, it begs the question: Well, then, how did you arrive at this conclusion? Uh, 
Uh, Mayor Bailey, I apologize for interrupting, but we just have time for this last question. And I was sure. hoping we had Esther Valdez Clayton on as she uh, was a member of the Coronado School Board. She she uh, took exception to some of your comments saying, hey, this was a racially insensitive incident and not racism. Um, I'm paraphrasing what you had to say. She Her point was if people were aggrieved, it really doesn't matter how what your interpretation of it is. If you're aggrieved, you're aggrieved. Could you res respond to her? Yeah, well, in, intent always matters. Intent is incredibly important. And uh, I'm incredibly disappointed in the Coronado Unified School District Board for essentially condemning the students as motivated by, quote, racism, classism, and colorism without any underlying evidence to support it. In fact, I think they demonstrated a tremendous lack of courage along with CIF and not actually looking at the um, body of evidence to arrive at the conclusion that this was unsportsmanlike conduct as the players have acknowledged and apologize for the racial insensitivities that this caused. If anyone's demonstrating leadership here, it's the team captain and the team of Cornell High School for taking accountability for their actions and apologizing for them. Um, unfortunately, you have a situation where you know, oftentimes the, the adults that are supposed to be in the room are the most childish, and I think that's what happened here. Yeah, there was a series of mistakes and circumstances that uh, a perfect storm was brewing, and it, and it turned into this. So uh, I hope that we will, uh, once we get past the appeal, we can start uh, mending fences as quickly as possible, Mayor Bailey. Absolutely. Thank, thank you for being part of this. Thank you. All right.